Hello, welcome back to Quartzlight, your car brochure channel. Today, we're going to be looking at the Renault 8. Welcome back. And if you are into car brushes, please do subscribe because I'm sure you'll find something interesting here. So, thank you so far for all the likes and subscribes and indeed comments we've had so far. Most of the comments are absolutely fantastic and I do appreciate it. Love hearing about uh, your different cars, your experiences with different models of cars that we feature um, each week. So, I do appreciate that. Some weird comments as well. Um, the weirdest comment so far since starting the channel was Please paint your architrave A strange one and no, that's not going to happen <laughs> Anyway, back to today's channel, the Renault 8 So, the Renault 8, first introduced in 1962 and it was simply known as the R8 until 64 the model ran all the way till 1973. And I must confess, it's one of my uh, favorite cars, particularly because um, I had a Top Trump's car of a rally version of an R8. And um, yes, it was also a successful rally car. Anyway, today's brochure, it is from the UK. As you see, it's saying R8, so it's before 64, although there is actually no dates on there, but I presume it's one of the very early ones. So let's have a look at today's brochure. Like I say, an early one of the Renault 8. It's showing here um, the R8 symbol, and like I say, known as the R8 until 64. Europe's most brilliant all-rounder. I particularly like this front end. There's something very cute, something very attractive about that with this offset Renault badge. I do really like this, and if your know, viewers of this channel know, I do kind of like really like French cars anyway. It's showing a new engine, so it's a 48 brake horsepower, 5 bearing crankshaft, 956cc. In the late year 64, um, there was actually a, a Renault R8 Gordini, um, that had a, an 11, I think 11 or 8cc, if my memory served me right, 89 brake horsepower. Initially, that was only available in blue with white stripes, although that's not shown here because I presume um, this brochure is probably from 62 or 63. Probably 62 when it was launched, to be honest. But like I say, no date stamp on here. Very interesting fact, uh, the Renault R8 was the first car of its class in the world with four disc brakes. So you think about early 60s disc brakes, it was quite an advanced car at a time when, you know, small cars were kind of like forgotten about. This was just a small family car, rear engine, rear wheel drive, but with four disc brakes. That was very rare at the time for sure. And sure, that was a selling point. The brochure itself is quite a large one, although I say brochure very loosely, it's more of a, like a, a leaflet really than a brochure. You can see it's got a bit worn with time because it's um, a larger brochure, you can't just slip this in into a plastic wallet because it's too big, so it has suffered a little bit. So as we open the brochure up, we go straight to this large um, centre page. Um, we've got little French badgings on there. Uh, this unusually dressed uh, guy with this unusual red interior. And a few little features which we'll look at as we go along. We'll zoom in on a bit of the text and we'll read that and see what the features are of the R8 at this time. And it says here, all round control, all round vision. See the picture below. See the confident way the whole car, wheels, 
bodywork suspension sits on it sits the road not i was gonna say sits on the road but it just says sits the road the facts agree with the appearance when you take the wheel you'll feel the responsive way the r8 handles the responsive way the four disc brakes give you progressive braking without grab or fade you will enjoy the spacious feeling given by the wide screen the wide rear window and the reverse cambered bonnet the sense of being at one with road, sorry, car, road and countryside. The assurance of complete control. Although the actual picture itself, I'm not sure, sits the road. It's not even moving at the time, it's just parked up. But you can see it is a nice design. And like I say, it is one of my favourite little designs for sure. And then it's talking about a space bonus. Remember, this is a rear engine car, so space is at a premium as it often is on rear engine cars. So it says here, here's a find. Look behind the rear seat squab. A deep full width recess where you can stow all manner of things ready to hand and without getting in the way of the driver's rear view. Flowers, for example, for instance, various items of shopping, etc., or a dress that you must not be crushed. You can lay it out at full length, but we leave it to you. You are sure to find it a useful additional space, which together with the capacious front luggage compartment offers 11, 11 cubic feet of storage. So what it's talking about here is this little space behind the rear seat, if I just managed to... Uh, Get a slightly better shot of that. There we go, that's a little bit better. So this is talking about this little uh, recess. Um, it's not just a, a parcel shelf, it actually goes down a little bit, so it is recessed slightly. And it talks about putting these sort of flat objects on the flower's address, so it won't actually block the rear view of the driver. Although, strangely in the picture, um, this child's put in a large bag there, which would affect the rear view of the driver so that's a little bit of a weird image um i kind of think it's almost like a an extra space so it's trying to promote more space because it is a limited front uh, trunk area uh, below that it says please note in this country the renault r8 is supplied with right hand drive and leather cloth upholstery of course with these brochures you get the same pictures whether it's a French brochure or uh, wherever it's coming from. So they always show left hand drive cars with some specifications slightly different. Because this is meant for the UK market, they've had to add that to say the car you'll buy is going to be right hand drive and like I say, a leverette upholstery. So you wouldn't get this sort of red upholstery in the, um, the UK market cars. And then finally over here, he's talking about listen to the silence. Remarkable soundproofing and minimum wind noise combined with the all-round independent suspension to give the R8 the feel of a much larger car. The pleasant illusion is supported by a glorious effective ventilation system. Cooling summer, warming winter. Stretch your legs, there's plenty of room for them, and look around. See the padded door panels and sensible inward hinged door handles with childproof locks at the rear. Again, your know, childproof locks, that's unusual for the early 60s. And the sliding draft proof rear windows. Feel the softness and observe the depth of the luxurious seating finished in leather cloth in this country. Everything proclaims the Renault reputation for practical comfort. And then as we take looking at the final back page, Renault R8, Europe's most brilliant all-rounder. And it was a difficult car really to sell in the UK. This was before the days that we really accepted so-called foreign cars. Um, so it wouldn't have sold in huge numbers in the UK. Um, it was much later when you know French German cars were really accepted. UK was really a place to buy a UK car at the time. But anyway, we'll look at some of this detail to see what a, an amazing little car this was. As we zoom in, four disc brakes is always the part that 
makes this car quite remarkable for the 60s to have four disc brakes it says for the first time ever disc brakes are fitted to all four wheels of a quantity production model as standard equipment four disc brakes give the r8 progressive and rapid but never fierce braking they are absolutely consistent under any conditions and always effective even when continuously applied with long downhill gradients this is a braking with the highest degree of safety you could argue it doesn't really need four disc brakes much more modern cars still have got drum brakes on small cars but nevertheless disc brakes all around which i think is quite remarkable Amazing road holding resulting from positive and direct steering combination with a remarkable suspension giving a 4 inch range of wheel travel at front and having longitudinal radius arms at the rear. With the R8 you are protected with the unforeseen ruts, potholes, gusts of wind, tight turns etc. Safe at all times. A purposeful 4 speed gearbox. Well spaced gear ratios provide a remarkable flexibility over the entire speed range. First gear offers a lightning getaway, second is low enough to give a rapid acceleration from near zero speeds, third is a muscular and top is very flexible. And it talks about the ratios there. Economically good. In all respects, high cruising speeds are easily sustained with excellent fuel consumption. Maintenance is cut to a minimum, no antifreeze required, removable wet cylinder liners substantially reduces major overhauls. And then it's talking about this new Sierra 5 bearing crankshaft engine, of course nothing to do with Ford here. This engine is already well known uh, as the power unit for the Floride Special and Caravelle. Five bearing crankshaft, four cylinders, 956cc, maximum torque etc etc. And it's just saying it's got a sparkling performance giving it 80 miles per hour. Not too bad for the small car at this time. And there is a glimpse of the uh, cutaway of the engine. Then it's got this very um, French, very Renault thing here. It says, here again, the R8 is leader in its class. As in the Renault 4 and Floride, cooling is affected by a liquid containing antifreeze in a sealed circuit. It's the modern answer to cooling problems in all climatic conditions. Does not need topping up with water. Does not need further antifreeze. Completely practical. And like it says, the Renault 4 had a similar sort of sealed uh, cooling system. Functional dashboard. It is uh, surmounted by a visor, which is an extension of the black padded top of the fascia. Instruments grouped in a single unit. Face level fresh air ducts at each side can be regulated both for direction and output. Heater, demister for adjustable air temperatures, pleasant under all circumstances. And then finally it's talking about this spacious luggage boot. Space and to spare, uh, oh, I'm sorry, space and to spare all your luggage. Eight and three quarter cubic feet in the front boot and another two and a quarter cube feet in the parcel recess behind the rear seats. Still going on about that tiny little area which is making up for a very small boot, but nevertheless, it's there. It says the spur wheel has its own compartment and can be removed without disturbing the luggage. And then it gives you this nice little chart which shows the dimensions. A little bit of dimensions there and then finally it's, it's got the uh, Renault badge on there and saying you know uh, the London address because this is for the UK market of course so there we go the Renault R8 like I say one of my favorite cars based on the Renault Dauphine uh, a very rare car today uh, one of the reasons I like it so much is just from pictures when looking at, at a kid and like I say the Gordini rally car was in a, a set of top trumps as a kid so I've got fond memories looking through that um, although to be honest very rare to see on the roads when I was a kid and of course 
you just don't see them anymore. But if you do have any uh, memories of the this particular car, then please do uh, pop them in the comments. I always enjoy reading those. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Please do like and comment and subscribe if you've not done already. And we'll see you very soon. So take care and goodbye.